Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something every livestock owner needs to know, the hidden dangers in your pastures. Picture this, you're walking through your field and everything looks fine. But what if the plants your animals are nibbling on could harm or even kill them? That's the reality many farmers face without even realizing it. In this video, we'll uncover the top toxic plants and grasses that could be lurking in your fields. We'll show you how to spot them, explain how they harm livestock, and share simple tips to protect your animals. By the end, you'll feel confident knowing how to keep your herd safe. But first, let's talk about why this topic is so important and how it impacts farmers just like you. Toxic plants might seem like a minor issue, but the truth is, they can devastate your livestock and your livelihood. Let me tell you about a heartbreaking story from a farmer in India. He lost 10 goats in just half an hour after they ate some toxic plants in his pasture. Within minutes, the goat showed signs of poisoning and tragically didn't make it. This farmer didn't even realize these plants were dangerous, and that single mistake cost him not only his animals, but also a huge chunk of his livelihood. It's not just about losing animals. It's about the ripple effect on your farm. When livestock gets sick, it means extra vet bills, lower productivity, and a huge emotional toll. And for some farmers, it can even threaten the future of their business. The good news? This kind of loss is preventable. But first, you need to know what to look for. So let's dive into the most common toxic plants and grasses you should watch out for in your pastures. We'll break them down into categories so it's easy for you to identify the risks in your pastures. Category one, grasses. They might look harmless, but some common varieties can become deadly under certain conditions. Johnson grass, for instance, is common in many pastures, but after a frost or drought, it can produce cyanide compounds. These compounds block oxygen from being absorbed into the bloodstream, leading to symptoms like difficulty breathing, drooling, or even sudden death. Sudan grass and sorghum share this risk. Young, fast-growing plants or stress plants are the most dangerous. Imagine your livestock grazing as usual, and within hours, they collapse. That's how quickly these grasses can act. To avoid this, test your pastures for cyanide levels during high-risk times, especially after a frost. Also, don't allow animals to graze on young or regrowing grasses if you're unsure of their safety. Category 2. Herbaceous Plants these leafy plants often pop up in early spring or after heavy rains, but they come with hidden dangers. Buttercups may look cheerful with their yellow flowers, but they contain proto-anemonin, a toxin that causes blisters in the mouths of animals that eat them. This can lead to a loss of appetite and dehydration. Bracken fern is another sneaky culprit. Its toxin, thiaminase, breaks down vitamin B1 in the animal's body, leading to severe deficiencies over time. Symptoms include weight loss, muscle tremors, and even paralysis. And don't forget nightshade. Found in many parts of the world, this plant contains solanine, a toxin that can cause digestive distress, weakness, and in severe cases, death. Walk your fields before the grazing season starts. Spot and remove these plants early and dispose of them far away from your livestock to avoid accidental ingestion. Category 3. Woody Plants Woody plants and shrubs often grow near pastures or along fence lines. While they might look harmless, a single bite can be lethal. Yew is notorious for its toxicity. Just a handful of its leaves can kill a cow or a horse within hours. The toxin taxine affects the heart, causing cardiac arrest. Oleander, common in warmer climates, is just as deadly. Even the dried leaves remain toxic. It contains cardiac glycosides, which disrupt the heart's rhythm. Wild cherry trees are another unexpected risk. When their leaves wilt, like after a storm, they release cyanide compounds. 
Livestock grazing on these fallen leaves can succumb quickly to poisoning. Inspect your pastures, especially near wooded areas or tree lines. Remove toxic shrubs and fallen branches and fence off areas with known risks. Category 4. Legumes and Weeds Legumes and weeds can also pose serious threats, especially in overgrazed or poorly managed pastures. Clover, particularly red clover and alcite clover, is generally safe but can cause problems like bloating if consumed in excess. In some cases, alcite clover can lead to photosensitivity or liver damage in horses. Pigweed contains nitrates and oxalates. These compounds can damage the kidneys and lead to fatal poisoning if animals consume large amounts. Water hemlock, one of the most toxic plants in North America, contains CyCQ toxin, which can cause convulsions and death within minutes. Its white, umbrella-shaped flowers make it easy to confuse with harmless plants, like Queen Anne's lace. To protect your livestock, don't allow overgrazing. Monitor areas with high weed content and learn to recognize and remove these dangerous plants. Now that you know what to look for, let's focus on how to keep your livestock safe. These simple strategies can make all the difference. Step 1. Regular Pasture Inspections The first step is to walk your pastures regularly. Check for toxic plants, especially during high-risk seasons like early spring or after a frost. Step 2. Rotational Grazing Strategies Rotational grazing is another great tool. By moving your livestock between different paddocks, you give grasses and plants time to recover and reduce overgrazing, which can expose animals to weeds and harmful plants. Plus, it encourages animals to graze selectively, avoiding plants they might otherwise eat out of hunger or boredom. Step 3. Emergency Action Plan What if you suspect poisoning? The first step is to remove your livestock from the area immediately. Keep them calm and give them access to clean water. Next, call your vet right away. Quick action can save lives. It's also helpful to know which plants cause the problem so you can prevent future issues. Step 4. Consult local experts. Your local agricultural extension office is a fantastic resource. They can help you identify plants in your region, recommend safe grazing practices, and even provide lab testing for suspicious plants. Every region has its own unique challenges, so having a local expert on your side is a game changer. Taking these steps might seem like extra work, but the peace of mind you'll gain is worth it. Now, let's recap what we've learned and how you can apply it on your farm. You've learned about some of the most toxic plants and grasses that could be hiding in your pastures, like Johnson grass, buttercup, yew, and pigweed. We've talked about how these plants can harm your livestock and shared simple ways to spot and manage them. By regularly inspecting your fields, practicing rotational grazing, and acting quickly in emergencies, you can protect your animals and your farm. Remember, a little prevention goes a long way. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and share it with other farmers who could benefit from this information. Let's work together to spread awareness about these hidden dangers. Have you ever dealt with toxic plants in your pastures? Share your experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and tips. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more farming tips and advice. Together, we can create safer, healthier pastures for our livestock. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep your herd healthy.